what are the five signs that this guy only want sex and i know it's not fun and i know it's not an easy situation and you're hurt by his behavior but ladies we can't continue to be blind to not look at the truth and also to give him all the control of the situation and the behavior so if i'm here today it's because i want to tell you that there is five signs you know that there are red flags because this guy doesn't want to be in a relationship he doesn't want to be with you he's only looking for sex and i know you would tell me but alex you know when i meet him he's so kind he's so nice to me yeah he's a sweetheart but even if it's a nice guy the fact that he only wants sex it should be a red flag and you need to understand that this is not okay for you i am your relationship coach i'm here as your best friend and i would never let you settle in a, in a situation that is not stable i'm not saying that he needs to marry you tomorrow but he needs to look for something that is not only sex and that will be the situation number one. sign number one. When a guy will say that he is only looking for fun, you feel that you're okay with it. Me too. I want some fun. It's nice. It is not. Why is it not? Because a guy will put you only in case. Case one, sex friend. Case two, being in a relationship. When you are the sex friend, when you're giving your body to this guy, most of the time, 99% of the situation you have zero chances that you will be a girlfriend. You will only be the sex friend. So when a guy is telling you, I don't want to commit to a relationship. I only want to have fun. I don't know where I will be next year. You tell yourself, okay, I don't want to be in a relationship as well. Let's do this. Let's start with this. You will, you will be hurt. You will end up hurt. And I don't want that for you right? So sign number one, when he say he just wants to have fun, it is not okay for us. Sign number two, when, he's, when this guy is trying to test you, what does it mean exactly? He will just try to test you. He will tell you, do you want to have sex with me? He will be very flirtatious. He would sexualize every conversation. Every time you talk to each other, he talks about sex. When you have a guy that is acting this way, he's just testing your boundaries, to see when you will tell him, hey, bro, stop doing this with me. I'm not like any other girl. You need to respect me. He's waiting for you to assert yourself instead of trying to find and to be what he wants. So sign number two, when he gets very super sexual all the time, all the time, whatever. Sign number three, ladies, when a guy wants to see you, he wants to see you even every day only at your place or his place that is more than a red flag this is just obvious this guy is only looking for sex because he can't take you out to a dinner he can't even take you out for a coffee what is he trying to accomplish he wants to see you on his terms he wants to see you when he wants and where he wants and of course we want to avoid this situation right we want to make sure that today we can regain control by telling him, yeah, I would love to see you. What do you propose? What is the activity that you have in mind? Because you cannot come to my place and I will surely not come to your place. Okay? Sign number four, that this guy wants only sex with you. It's when he will tell you to come and meet him the same day. Let's say that we are chatting together. Okay? And at 4 p.m., I'm asking you, hey, are you free tonight? It's because I'm not putting the work. I'm not trying to, in, to, to ask you for a real activity. I'm not trying to do something that will make you happy. I'm just here because I have nobody else. So let me chat and see if she will come to my place. Of course, this is a red flag. Number five, this guy wants only sex and control when he will shut down when you tell him no when you tell him no he will shut down completely okay so what i want you to realize is that you have the right to say no you have the right to have your period you have the right to see your friends 
And when he shut down, when you say no, you know what this guy is doing. He's trying to take advantage and he's trying to create a lack of self-confidence in your mind. And of course, because I'm here as your relationship coach, I want to make sure that you will not fall in this case. So one more time, even if he gives you a lot of attention, even if you cook your favorite meal after sex, if he wants to see you only at his place, if he wants to have fun, if he gets always super sexual, if he wants to see you always the same day, if you cannot tell him no, then he will shut down. This is not safe. And this is not love. So please, ladies, make sure that you will smash the like button. Share this video to your friend. I want you to tag your best friend that needs to hear that. Because men, ladies, let's be honest one second. Let's be serious. The guy, the guy we understand. We will not come to you and say, hey, I want to have sex. No. Hey, I want to get married. I want to have kids. Then when we have sex, oh, it goes too fast. Oh, yeah, you're too emotional for me. How can you understand that? It is not possible, right? So I want to be your coach. And if you look in the description or the chat, there is one call to apply for private coaching with me. So you do one call. It is free where we look at your situation. We look at your goals and we see how can I become your coach. It could be Coach Andres, Coach Isabel, myself. We are here for you. But ladies, you need to understand that guys, they are very good at hiding their intention. They are really good at putting the fault on you. They are really good at having the control after the sex. So I want you to open your eyes. I want you to make him work for it. And I want you, even after the sex, to not change your habits. We want to have control. We want to be in a group positive attitude. And this is perfect for us. Okay? So the more we can do that, the best it will be for us. So let's try to create this amazing connection. Let's try to be you, okay? But make me a promise in the chat. Alex, I will never fall again for these five signs because you can reverse the situation. But in order to reverse it, you need to learn how to challenge a man. And let me be honest with you. I've done so many videos. You just have to like this video, subscribe, watch my channel. Watch the ideas that goes against Walt Disney against Hollywood and make sure that you can have a guy that will love you for who you are and not only for your body. That's where I want to go with you. Tell me in the chat if it's clear enough. I will repeat when he says he just wants to have fun. It's not good for us. When he gets always super sexual, it's not what we are looking for. When he only sees you the same day, hey, can you be available in two hours? No way. When he would only see you at your place or his place. That's the number one sign. And the last one, it's when he will shut down because you say no. This guy doesn't care about your emotions. The only thing he will care about, you know what it is? His own goals. He will be very selfish. When you look at this and you really feel confident, and I love Janice saying that, you know, I wish that all women could hear your advice. Thank you, Janice, because I appreciate this very much. And you know what? The moment we apply that, men will fight for you. You will be this amazing challenge. They will value your personality. They will understand that you're not like others because you don't have the fear to lose them because you're a real woman, independent, positive, and that's where we need to go right now, Okay. So I will see you still next week, but I want you to do this live because I don't want you to suffer. And I want you to get control of the situation. So apply for the coaching. Let me be your coach. Let me be your best friend. You know, it's like phone coaching plus email coaching plus emergency sessions when, when you need me. But we need to do it together because you deserve to be happy. And I will see you very soon, ladies. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.